How's it going guys and welcome to a new series on the channel. We're going to be playing Rimworld, which is a little bit like a science fiction themed version of Dwarf Fortress. In that the idea is you have a load of survivors of a spaceship crash and it's your job to keep them alive by telling them um, what to do. Giving them orders like, you know, building houses and making sure that you're growing plants and that the dog isn't infected by a brain-eating virus. Um, I, I don't know if that's literally a thing in the game, but I wouldn't be surprised. It does have a tendency towards the grim. So yeah, um, it's a colony simulator, I suppose. That would be in the simple uh, description, it's just reading the subtext there. <laughs> but uh, you know me, I'm never one for the simple. Um, I always overcomplicate everything. Okay, so let's go on new colony. Um, so I did already on the tutorial, just as my uh, play test. Now, let's see. So we've got three options. Crash landed, which is the kind of uh, version which I just described, where we have crashed on a ship. And you get like uh, three colonists and you've got a load of uh, starting equipment. There's the rich explorer, where you're just one person with loads of stuff. And there's lost tribe, where you have more people and less stuff. I'm going to go with the basic because this is my first game outside of the tutorial, uh, minus a very brief playtest. So let's go and uh, see. First, I'm just going to adjust my uh, microphone just a tiny bit because it was uh, starting to droop. So yeah, and here we have uh, quite an interesting thing in this game is it's got, you can choose between three different AIs. You've got uh, Cassandra Classic, which is kind of a balanced build-up of danger throughout the game. And you've got BB Chillax, which is kind of like an easy mode for a while but will get harder later on and there's randy random which uh just throws anything at you at any time and you have no idea could be really easy for ages then absolutely wipe you out and i'm gonna go with cassandra classic on the middle difficulty uh because i think that's the best idea for a first run <laughs> um so let's go and I guess I'll just call the world Curious Key 1. Um, that's the seed. Oh yeah, guys. Uh, one thing I'm going to be doing. Oh yeah, here's our world. Is I am going to be naming colonists after you guys if you want me to. So, if you would like um, your name on a colonist in this game. Then I want you to either um, tweet me about it on Twitter at a curious key. Or, even easier, just leave a comment in this video. Um, if you've got a preference as to which particular colonist you'd like, then um, say that too. Okay, so here we are. We've got the whole world. And we have to choose where we crashed. And there's kind of different um, reasons you might choose one over another. For example, Temperate Forest will have access to loads of wood. Um, I don't know what the advantage is in going in a colder region because I generally would think of it as being quite hard. A uh, tropical rainforest probably has lots of food but also more dangerous creepy crawlies. So I'm going to go with temperate forest. But I'm going to find um, a place of large hills because I want to have something to bolster my colony against. Flat would be quite dangerous, I think, because it'd be very difficult to defend myself. Okay, so let's go. Let's go here. This seems quite nice. Okay, so now we've got our three starting colonists, um, and we can randomise them again if we don't like them. Uh, we've got a math professor. That is actually awesome because look at. Oh, that is a. That is great. That's almost maximum research. We're definitely keeping this. Okay, we've got a good grower. Um. And we've got a blaster. Um, are you the hand weapon that um, Han Solo shot under that table in that um, hive of scum and villainy down on Tatooine? Um, because you don't look like it. <laughs> um, okay, so you're a convent child. The child of an illicit affair who was uh, uh, sent <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> to a religious institution. That's interesting. Explosive expert. That's a great thing about this game. They've all got kind of back stories uh, that randomly get generated by kind of attributes. So, for example, this one, childhood was as a mute. 
um, was greatly affected by a traumatic event early in her life. For many years, she refused to speak to people, preferring instead to play with her household's numerous pets and adulthood as a gardener, which gives her, um, like, disables various skills, but also gives her plus eight in gardening. And this guy, who's got an adulthood of mathematician, who gives him minus three to shooting for some reason, and loads of extra research, but plant cutting, hauling, and cleaning is disabled. And he was a sickly child, which gives him uh, plus five to medicine and research, but minus two to a load of quite important things. And he's incapable of dumb labor. So you can, I think you can still assign that skill to him, like hauling and stuff. He just won't do it. So yeah, they've, you've got to kind of really keep your eyes on your colonists and kind of understand them in this game. Um, oh, okay. So I was, I was wondering actually early on what this bracketed name he, thing here is, but it's um chronological age. Whereas their biological age is 34, because they were in cryostasis in the ship before it crashed. Interesting. Um, so yeah, in Dwarf Fortress you'd have like a hundred or so dwarves, and you'd, you would, you'd know a few of your dwarves. The ones that stood out, but you wouldn't know all of them. But in this game, I think you end up getting maybe up to 20 if it's a big colony. So it's going to be uh, a little more intimate. So yeah, um, if you would like to be named on one of those colonists, just uh, leave a comment or tweet at me about it. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and dripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. And then boom, we come in on uh, three hunks of very broken spaceship. And the first thing we should do is uh, pause and have a look around and choose where we want to live. So we've got a lot of rock. It's actually a... Uh, it actually looks like we've got a fairly good um, starting point. We've got lots of places we might bulwark ourselves against. Um, I'm actually considering this base here because if you can see with uh, walls and stuff, it could actually be made quite defensible. Um, but there's a few other options. Like, for example, if we went up against here, we would have water, but we'd be against this edge here and things could come in, which could be uh, risky. So, I'm thinking we're going to start in here. So, what we're going to want to do first is uh, define some basic things. Um, not do any mining yet, because we've got plenty of stone lying around. But I am going to do a very basic thing. I'm going to... Um, actually, I'm going to cancel you, because I've spotted a better place to put it. I'm going to uh, ask my colonists to put a wall across here, just because I would like to cut off a few of the avenues of approach early on, um, just so we don't have to think about it for now. These are wood walls, so they are dangerous. They could burn down, but that's okay for now. Okay. Also, what we want to do um, is go around and unforbid a load of this stuff because um, the, all this stuff starts off... Well, let's tame that. Interesting. Um, starts off forbidden and our colonists won't do anything with it. Um, so let's do that. And we also want to choose where our first little kind of... I guess lump of a house is going to be. Which, uh... Okay, we've got two handgun, two guns. That's good. Let's have a look. Who has hunting enabled? Only you and the other guys. Ha the other guy has really bad um, skills. So you, you should have our um, rifle. And the one other one who isn't <laughs> um, him. You can have the knife. Math professors, um, I, I hear they're good with knives. So yeah, let's do that. Let's speed up time just a little bit. Um, let them get on with a few things. Um, oh yeah, what I should do as well is uh, 
set a stockpile. Let's put a stockpile over here. Yeah, just like that. And that will um that will allow us to um store a lot of things. <laughs> you can see as well, um the stockpile does vanish, but you can still kind of see it. It's discolored on the ground there. It can be a little bit faint to see in some times of day because like the lighting and things, but it is at the moment at least visible. Now, what I think we should do. Um there's ship chunks up here, which will be good for getting metal. What I also think we should do is um, build into this here. I think this should be where the core of our home is. And we've got this flat bit here. So what I'm going to do is build a starting hovel here. Um, nothing too fancy. And it's almost certainly going to get replaced at some point as well. Anyway, so we don't have to... Because um, wood is quite dangerous to build with. So we don't have to worry too much about it. Um, also, orders. Maybe it would be a good idea just to cut this stuff here as well. Okay. So now I've got our colonists doing some basic things. And things are coming together. I think we've got some basic rations and stuff here, but it would be good to get some hunting going on as well. So let's let's do some of that. Let's let's hunt these guys and uh, see how effective our hunter is at the shooting. Oh, there she is. She's lining up her sights, and she's uh, <laughs> doing very very badly. Oh god. Um, yeah, the shooters often start off very inaccurate in this game. But she actually hit, the in my test play, it took like five minutes of just watching them miss before even the first hit was struck. Oh, nice. Okay, maybe there is a future for you in this hunting business after all. Um, okay, you also have a little bit of passion for construction repairs. So I'm actually going to enable that on you. Um, if you go into work here... You can see um, which kind of where the kind of the little fire symbols here. They might be a little bit small on your screen, but that indicates that um, that person has a lot of passion for that. It also it makes them quite likely to start off with skills in the area, but not necessarily. Um, so, for example, a mathematician's got a lot of passion for research. And he's got skills in it. But it's possible that he could have been like a video gamer or something and wouldn't have any skills in research, but still love the idea of it. And it's a good idea to give your colonists skills that match what they want to be doing, because they'll be happier working. A boom rat. Oh, I get the feeling that if I get him hunted, he might explode on me. Um, okay, so what it would be a good idea to do now, I think, is get some beds. But we need wood for that, so um, that's kind of one of the big things of games like this, is uh, the spiral of tasks that need to be taken care of. So, for example, I need beds, so I need wood, so I need to get down a load of trees cut. Um, because I've used up all my wood on construction, it would seem. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it looks like that. I'm going to cut just briefly now and let just a few of the basic tasks get taken care of. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, guys, so we got a little bit of wood chopped, some beds built, and I just got this little um, announcement here that a chunk of spacecraft has fallen from the sky. And it turns out that there is nothing interesting on it. It's just space ship chunk but it's still um interesting to keep an eye on that stuff because sometimes you might get uh more interesting things i'm actually gonna mark these for deconstruction because maybe we will find interesting stuff on them now um we've got a learning helper up here as well which is kind of useful for if you uh, don't know what to do my first idea right now is that we probably want a stove so I'm gonna put a stove in here and a 
maybe because we've got such a good researcher start just to start with as well maybe a basic um workbench just because it i think it might it would be a uh, foolish to not take advantage of that um especially as we, we're just starting out with such an awesome person so now it's uh it's night time and all of the little creepy crawlies out on the world are asleep. A lot of the creatures are kind of earth creatures, but we get lots of weird things like boom rats and other things. So far our local wildlife seems to be mostly earth equivalent, but I'm sure we'll encounter some pretty weird things given time. The amazing thing about this game is it's actually early access still. It's not... Um, completed, but it feels really complete. Okay, so we've got component X8 out of each one of these um, ship chunks. And I gather that's actually really useful for later on. Um, now, what we probably want to do now is set some research. Now, uh, one thing I really want to do actually is... Um, yeah. Yeah. This stone cutting, I think, is the first thing we should research because we really want to stop building with wood. That is, I think, the most urgent thing right now because these walls here, the minute fire comes or anyone who's got any even remotely capable ability is will just get burnt down. Okay, so now we've got this. We should add some bills. Add bill. Cook a simple meal. And cook 10 of them. That will probably do us for now. Are you just... Are you just lying here? Maka? What are you doing? <laughs> um, now, I don't know how long we're going to get until things come at us. But a good idea is probably to never quite rest on our laurels. So I'm going to define some more stuff to get done. And I think we've got a lot of stone here. Does this stone need to be mined? No. So this stone's actually going to be usable for us to start with. Still, though, I think it would be a good idea to start mining out um, some area space in there. Um, and to set a load of wood here to be chopped. Oh yeah, there's another thing we should probably build. A butcher's table. Um, because I'm not sure if we can cook that stuff here without it uh, being butchered first. It's just been lying out here for a whole day. <laughs> but apparently that still counts as fresh. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm not, I'm not quite sure if that still counts as like the five second rule. Um, uh, you know, 24 hours. You know, I'm stretching that rule a little bit, maybe. Oh, I think we might actually be pretty close to getting it, the research completed. Is that... Oh, wow, that research is quick. He is so good. Awesome. Okay, so after that, we're going to have to think about all the other things we can do. Um, and... I'm really thinking hydroponics... But we might need other things first for that. Stone cutting. Yeah, take us to the research screen. And okay, what should we what should we uh should we do next? Okay, so we could do smithing. Um I really want to do Oh, we've got electricity? Okay, we've got electricity, that's good. So that means we can do hydroponics. And that's going to give us the ability to farm indoors. Um, which is going to be really useful for us. Okay, cool. So we're really coming along. We've got a little colony coming together now. And we can start building stone walls inside of those... Um, silver or steel... What? Do I need... Oh, I bet I need... um Artistic sculpting? I'm not sure if we need that. A stone cutter's table is what we're going to need. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to put this outside because it's most likely going to produce a lot of noise and it's going to annoy people if they're sleeping near it. You know, I think that is a thing. Um, now, hopefully this colony doesn't die too early. What I'm considering doing is um, is maybe just keep on on the same series no matter how many times I die. Have the series end when I win, maybe, and then go over to Season 2. Um, I'm definitely very much enjoying this game, so I'm thinking I might be playing it for a while. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. Hopefully, hopefully it will never become an issue because I won't lose. <laughs> but that is, um, you know, that is very much a dream and probably not very realistic. Okay, so it is saying that we need defenses. Um, and our research is beginning. I think that this might be a good time to wrap up the episode because... It feels like a natural ending point. Um, and I don't want these to drag on too long. Um, okay, guys. So, I really hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'm feeling really good about this. We've gotten lots done. And uh, we might have no defences, but I'm pretty sure we can whip something up pretty quickly to keep those raiders off of our base. So, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you would like to be named... Um, in the game as Nitra, Maka, or Benico, then just drop a comment or tweet at me at a curious key. Um, if you, if loads of you want names, then don't worry if these names have already been taken. Just leave a comment, and I will add you to a queue of people to be named after new colonists to arrive, because new people um, turn up every now and then. So we will have more uh, people than this eventually. So yeah, don't worry if uh, the names have already been taken by other people. Still leave a comment if you'd like, because I can put you into a queue and name you after like the next colonist to come in. So yeah, guys, uh, really hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, leave feedback on whether you kind of want to see more of this kind of thing. And yeah, I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.